many people are saying, yes, if we get a resolution, even a watered down one at the UN, that will send a signal to these circles inside of the regime that it's time to get rid of Assad and his family, and you'll have some sort of you know, transition. He'll go to the Emirates or whatever. Um, I, I don't know, um, you know, there's a saying in Syria, those who, speak, uh, those who know don't speak and those who speak don't know. I, I, I would not bet the farm on that. Um, and it is possible that we're going to have to work this um, from the edges. The scenarios are Bashar is ousted by the Alawites around the regime. Um, and I think here we're talking mostly about Alawites, not, not only. And that group would hopefully cut some sort of deal with, with um, various Sunni forces in the, in the country. Then there's the alternative where Bashar, I think, and this is what we're looking at at the moment, he holds on. And what that means, people often ask me, well, Andrew, how long is Assad going to hold on inside of Syria? Well, it depends on what holding on means, right? I mean, it could be very much like Algeria, um, where you have the government having control of um, populated areas or certain centers by day and by night not. Um, you could have also, you know, for example, According to a lot of discussions I've had just in the last few days, there are large parts, for example, of Idlib province which are just outside of state control, um, which gets us into a discussion, and, and that, that's where the discussions concern, the, coming out of Turkey concerning a humanitarian, humanitarian buffer zone or a corridor um, become interesting because you, you have similar situations. I'm not an expert on Bosnia, um, um, but I, I, I do know that there are enough parallels that if you have a areas which are liberated, so to speak, or even for a, a period of time, um, and then you have the, the, the regime playing whack-a-mole and trying to reassert themselves, this can generate the kind of death tolls that can garner um, an international intervention. And that's something which, um, which is possible from the Turkish side. Um, but I think it's pretty early to talk about that.